Zoho Notebook Tutorial How to use Zoho Notebook step by step Hey guys, welcome back In this video, I'll be showing you how you can get started with the Zoho Notebook application and how you can use this across any device and what are the different features that can help you keep notes and keep track of all of your work So, let's get started Now, one thing you might wonder is that why would I need a notes app for my desktop or for my phone? Well, the reason for that is often our desktop and our phones aren't going to be synced up automatically. And even when they are synced up, they don't have the powerful integrations and tools that can really upgrade your notes in Zoho. If you took a look at the Zoho apps previously, you will see that they have this application for Mac, Linux, and Windows. And the best part is, is that if you're using Zoho for any other work, you can easily sync that up over here as well. So let's get started. Now, I already have created a Zoho account. I already have an account, so I just have to go into Access Zoho Notebook. If you don't have an account, you can just sign up for Zoho Notebook. And this is going to just create your Zoho account. And you can just go on over here and we're just going to redirect. Now you guys can see this is the Zoho application and you can click on sign up for free over here. I am just going to sign in using my pre-existing account to access Zoho Notes. And we're going to set up our Zoho Notes account. So once we have continued on to our Zoho Notes page, this is going to be your dashboard. Now in your dashboard, you're going to have on the top a panel. In this panel, you have your notebooks and you have your note boards. Then you have your all notes section and then shared notes. Now, this is a amazing feature that you're not going to find in any other note taking application because let's say you're brainstorming ideas with a partner for research, then you don't want to have to manually text them every idea that you get. You jolt it down in your notes and that note is going to be a shared note. So either of you can access that note at any time to see what the other person has taught about or you know what the other person's progress has been like and this can be a great way to upkeep on these kinds of brainstorming tasks now other than that you have a search feature on the top left you also can tag certain notes so let's say certain notes might be for work certain might be for your personal life certain might be for your research so on and so forth and then on the top you also have these reminders not only can you build your notes but also add reminders this can be overdue and also show you your upcoming reminders as well now going back into the notes application you can see over here you can even add images within images you can add due dates you can also add people as well and then on the top left, you're going to have your direct notes section where you can start writing your note. Then you also have a checklist section over here where you can build a checklist particularly. So if there are certain tasks that you need to accomplish within a week, you can build a checklist for that. And then you can attach and even draw on notes. Now let's go into our notebook and this is going to be your basic notebooks. Now, other than your basic notebook, you can create a secondary notebook and you can click on OK. And this is going to be your secondary notebook so you can go on ahead and edit you know the info the cover image the you know password protection so you can enter a password for a particular notebook let's say this is for my personal life so i can click on over here and i can click on lock and i can lock that then you can also get all of the info about that particular notebook let's take this notebook over here and let's name this into daily stuff or daily things whatever and then we can get started with our notes. Now I'm going to click on over here and I'm going to write my first note within a notebook. So notes are going to be present within any one of your notebooks that you've created. Now within our note, let's write today was slow and boring for research, but I need to cancel my mm, research gate subscription on the of. Uh, NOV. So after I've entered my note over here, you can also format the note. So you can click on the style, you can click on the font sizing as well. And then you can also add italics as well as underline, add a strike through as well as create a different background for your note. Then you can also indent your text, create bullet points as well as create columns. And then you can use the checkbook option to, or the checklist option to create checkable items within a note. So whatever tasks I need to do, I can add them over here. Then I have hyperlinks that I can also add as well as inserting images. So you can insert any image. Then you also have separators to further divide your note. 
as well as grids that you can form to categorize more items. Then you can also add quotations as well as short codes and your basic formatting. So you can format the note all over. Then on the bottom, you have your basic grammar checker. Then you also have your due date. So what you're going to do over here is that you can enter the due date. Let's say it's going to be the 8th and then I'm going to click on set. And now this note is going to be reminded to me when it is the 8th of November. I can set up the time as well. So you can click on remove over here, click on this, and then you can set the time. Let's say I want to be reminded at 9 a.m. So I can enter that time over here on the 8th and click on set. Then you also have your color picker. Let's say I want to do, I'm going to open up the color picker. We're going to open up the color wheel over here. And I want to do like a really nice light pastel pink note. So I have the preferred color over here. And now after I've chosen my color, I can add members to this note. So if I'm working on a collaborative project where we need to, you know, check off things, I can add people over here. If I'm doing, you know, research work, if I am rebuilding my business, if your business has research ideas, marketing ideas, you know, your storefront needs products to be launched, all of that can be managed in this notes app. Now, I'm going to show you guys something really incredible later on as well, but let's keep on taking a look at these desktop features. Now, after this, you have a public shareable link. So this is not going to share your entire notebook. This is only going to share this note. You can share this note with the public as well. So let's say you've written down the steps for launching a new product on your Shopify store and you want to share this with all of your employees. You can just share this note and that can be it. Then you also have note activities so that you can see how the note has been edited. You can also merge two notes, make it your favorite as well as add tags. So you can click on your tags over here and then you're going to click on add tag. And this might be for college like this. So I can add tag over here. Now, after this, once I've completed my note, I can click on the top left and I can close my note. Now, this is just the desktop version. And this is our basic note board. I can open up my note board to see all of my recent notes, all files, reminders, and lists as well. And the note board is going to be a visual view of all of your notes. Then I can close this out and this is my daily stuff journal or notebook. And within this notebook, I have one note. Now in my personal notebook, I can click on over here and click on share and you can even share your entire notebook. So anyone could make a note and edit any pre-existing note within that notebook as well. Now, after that, you can also access all of your notes via your mobile phone. So, so if I open up my mobile phone over here, I can go into the app store and you just want to search for notebook Zoho. And once you search for Zoho notebook, you're going to find the first application. This is the application. It's by Zoho Corporation. And you just want to download this. I have already downloaded it. And then I can sign into my Google account or, you know, the same account that I've used on my desktop. So I can enter this like so. And once I have logged on to my account, the account will be synced up to my Zoho Notes account that we just created on our desktop. So now it's just syncing everything up and it's going to create all our notes over here. So even if I'm working on my phone, I don't have to be like, oh, you know, I can't work over here. I can't share my items over here. I can start building notes over here. And one additional feature that I really love about the mobile version is that you can see you have your record option. So if I click on the record option over here, I can enable the notebook application or the notes application to actually take notes directly via my voice. So I can just write anything. So, hey, notes application, how are you? And I can just close this out, click on done. And then once I've done that, I have, you know, these recordings that I can go back on to further write down my notes. You guys can see you have all of these different options available on your phone as well. And you can even create or capture video as well as visual elements with Zoho Notes. So in this way, you can get started with Zoho Notes. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.